Hi right, guys, so we just had another import of fish from Japan. Collected them again, the darkness this time of year is just not on our side, the light's not on our side, I should have said. I've unloaded, I only have four boxes this time. Unloaded two. I've got two more to unload, I forgot to video. Quite exciting to be honest when the fish comes up. The last thing you want to do is start getting the video camera out. But I'm going to show you a bit of footage of these two boxes now. In this bowl we've got Shoe from Marseille. Really nice quality these, nice mix of them. They are on this side. They are around 25 to 28 centimetres. Nice mix in the bowl. They've been in travel now probably well over 30 hours. A bit stressed out, need to get in. We can see the summer. Some nice characters amongst them. Sumi quality on that. But I don't want to stress them out too much. I'm going to get them into the water now. Let them settle down a little bit. I will show these more on the video as time goes on. But yeah, little glimpse of some of these. And I've got another box to show you in a sec. So in this bowl we've got selected koi from Marahide. A lot of potential. Uh, most of these I've already sold. I believe four out of seven I've already sold. A lot of potential in these ones. You can see a lot of underlying sumi. Nice big heads and bodies. Quality fish. Say so these are all hand selected uh, from Marahide Koi Farm. Beautiful fish. Seems to travel well. I haven't done a little top to toe, which I always do. Gonna get these in as well now and uh, wrap the night up. Because yet again, these import days are long days. The box that they actually come in. Had been opened by customs. The customs used their own tape to reseal it, just so you know that it's them who's been inside the box. So this box in particular had been opened, and um, every import we seem to have one that's been opened. I think that's just the looking for contraband. Obviously, people will use anything to smuggle stuff. They think that there could be something in the fish boxes, but that obviously slows down us actually getting the fish, which is a bit of a nightmare, really. But so I just thought I'd say quickly that we start the quarantine process from the day the fish arrive. Some people let them settle in for a week and then start to uh, introduce new fish. We don't, we mix them on the day they arrive. Other dealers do the same, not all do. Some prefer to do it a different way. But how I see it is that we're going to stress them fish out and we're going to see if there's any problems with them. Let's do it from the off. Let's make sure they're healthy, happy, and strong fish before they come to you. Well, as you can see, this here is a pond. This corner has been took away, so it's got that nice flow into the shop. It's not a massive shop, so we want to make really good use of the space. The staircase, using that as a natural handrail, obviously there will be a handrail on there. That's been put in as a handrail on this side, and we're going to use a glass rail around this side as well. So you can still look over, because this one's a lot higher. So this one is three meters by two meters. It's a nice sized pond, the stairs look fantastic. And then all the tank that we had custom made for the window has all been covered in ply as well. And that's so we can tile. So all around the air, all around the tank, even the outside will all be tiled. All around the front here will also be tiled. So can you imagine how nice this is going to look when you walk in and all of this around here is tiled? I was considering putting a window in here, but I wanted to give it that contrast of actually having that Japanese style looking from above in this pond. Obviously, you've got the window tank there, you've got the window tank up there, you've got this tank as well, which you get a nice, nice overview of as well. So, obviously, on camera, everything looks a lot smaller, but that is actually a beast of a pond. That's a really good sized pond. Um, it, it's gonna look great and as I say these stairs they were built to regs um, so it's all above board and I'm really glad about that because I think that they, they are the right width they look great in this area up here we're gonna have some nice seating area so the shop's not huge but it's not a bad size and um, obviously the camera never does justice so we're gonna have a nice seating area up here we're gonna have a massive display of dry goods on here I've said this many times in the past, dry goods are not really my bag, I find them quite difficult and that's why we employed Michael Mick to do the dry goods section so we can offer a great service when we do that. I want to be able to send out products within 24 hours of you ordering, if you get it in early enough they'll go out the same day. We can offer next day delivery on certain items, some items we don't hold in stock, some of the bigger more expensive items, 
but we'll still get them out to you as fast as possible. We can get them delivered right from the, the supplier, so it can be with you within the week, which is not, not a bad service, it's better than a lot of it. So that's the point of why Michael come on board. The other person who come on board recently was Rob. Rob's an editor, that's what he does for a living. And he come on board so we can, he took over the YouTube channel, like sadly for me. But the idea for that is that he can put out good content regularly on time. Whereas I'm a little bit lost for time and I'm always running on the back foot. He can now put that out so we can be consistent in our videos. So I think that's important as well because obviously you, it, this all started with you watching me in my back garden um, when I only had a little part myself. So I, I want to make sure that the content keeps coming and have a good quality as well. I want the content to keep getting better and better. Um, so that's why Rob's took over. So we've got four people on the team now, essentially myself, my partner Becky, who some of you all know, that's Mikey's mum. She's in charge of the website. So she, she looks after the website and she responds to any snide comments that we get because she writes a little bit better than I do. Um, Rob is in charge of the social media, the media. Also, he's in the background with the website with Becky. So they're working together to make sure the website's right and trying to add on boltons, etc. to so just give you a little bit of a better user service. Um, Michael's doing the dry goods, making sure that the dry goods come out on time and fast and he'll reply to your emails, your messages, etc. So I can give you a really good service. So we're a team of four up to now. Um, and it, it, no one wants to be on the camera essentially but slowly but surely you'll get them all on the camera but there's a team of four of us and we are always actively looking for new staff as well so we'll say staff and I don't like that word so team members you know you're a member of the team you're a part of the journey I only want people who are going to help us grow the company you're not here just to get a wage I want you to really love it and get involved so we're looking for we are actively looking for, for more people as well all the time but it's just got to be the right person at the right time Um. So hopefully by the end of this year we're going to have a team, maybe about six or seven people and we're going to be good at what we do, we're going to be the best at what we do. I don't see the points in doing it if we're not going to try and be the best. I, I, I just don't get that. I always said from the off, I would never sell a fish that had issues, I would never try and make a quick pound by selling one that I was a little bit unsure about. If the fish aren't 100% healthy, they're not leaving me. I would rather give you a refund today and get money off you in the future, get regular spend off you in the future, than send you a damaged fish today. You never spend off me again and you call me, you know, fit to burn with everyone you know. That's bad business and I don't like bad business. So, essentially, I'm going to send out the best quality fish as much as I can. I'm going to make sure that everyone's happy with the price, everyone's happy with the quality. There's just never a bad fish that leaves my boys going. That's the real, the golden real. We will not send out a fish if we're not 100% happy with it. And we want you to have trust in us. And the only way you're going to have trust in us is if you, we prove that we, we can be trusted. Top and bottom. And then from this side, so this is going to be like, the, the, like a handrail, but the idea with this is it's so strong that it'll hopefully stop anyone uh, falling through it. That's the idea, hopefully. But yeah, again, you're going to have a really nice... A uh, bird's eye view from up here too. Just need to get them walls cleaned up. Um, probably gonna get them replastered. Was gonna do beforehand, but wasn't sure the state of them. But I'm glad all that board got took off. Cause that looks a lot better. So I imagine looking at the fish from this angle. The walls were so far out. Because we we're putting a box weld in, didn't want the tank to be off. So just said to them to make the tank square, and we'll. We'll cope, we'll cope and over that, but that's how far out the wall is. That's crazy. I just can't wait to uh, to get the next part of this done. But I think it looks really, really good. I would never have got this far without Becky's help. Then the reason that I've, I've, I've got two more people now and the reason I'm always still looking for more people is because I know I'm not going to achieve what I want to achieve. I don't want to be a back garden coy dealer. I could make an okay living from that, I really could, but I don't want that. I would rather invest all of the money back in and always be chasing the next pound, if I'm totally honest, because I want to make sure that the service we provide, the company is the best it can possibly be. So I don't take a lot of money out of it, I hardly take any money. I put it back in, and the reason I put it back in is to grow this company and to do projects like this. Like, I could have built this myself and it would have looked awful. It would have been okay, it would have been functional, but it wouldn't have looked good. Whereas this looks smart. 
it's gonna look amazing. All the tiles are in the back room there. So we're gonna get the tiling in the next couple of weeks and get the tiling done. It's gonna look fantastic. And it's all because we put the money back in that we get from you guys who spend on koi. We buy quality Japanese koi, we sell them at great prices, we reinvest the money back into my boys' koi to grow for the future and to be the best company we possibly can. So part of our journey, a part of where we are and what we do and this is it. This amazing place. We're just so grateful and fortunate to have this on our doorstep. To be a fish lover. And then to have this, this salmon in this water, trout in this water. Amazing rapids. It is just a joy to be around. What an absolutely fantastic place to be. I hope you all come down and get involved in it. Come and see what we're doing here. Come and see how amazing this place is. It's absolutely fantastic. I promise you that. We're just working on a bit of prep work, getting some of this flaky paint off. Because as people know, we got it painted. And then the builders jet washed. But to be honest, the paint, I've been painted over all paint and it was flaking anyway, really. So um, the builders that were not to do with us, we were doing the road, stay jet washed the shop with a high power uh, jet, jet wash, pressure washer, and they, got, they just took a lot of the paint off, so I'm just scraping the loose bits um, out here now. I'm just trying to get this a little bit, a little bit tired. Yeah, I'm also pulling these, wind, these stickers off the window, so our stickers for my boys koi rather than have a shop sign because, as you can see, it's not very wide the top. We're having a, just like a big sign stickers on the windows instead. So while I'm doing this out here, Becky's in there on the phone. No, Becky is in there um, sanding the walls and getting the walls ready so they can be sorted out, painted, tiled, and everything else. But you'll see that this paint it's just flaking. So, Try and get this off before the painter comes back and paints it again. I'm just going to try and get as much of this flaky paint off as I can so that the next time it's painted, it's uh, nice and clean and smart and not just all going to fall off and blow away and get destroyed. And I'm just doing this to break up the fact that I'm up, up this ladder. Um, pulling these windows off and it's an absolute nightmare and I'm not enjoying it to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Some of the, some of it's come off in big strips which is great and then other little bits like this has been really difficult. But yeah, so I'm working on that but you can also see like right on top here. It's just flaking paint, it just looks awful. It's just we're spending so much money on this shop, I just I'm just not happy with that to be honest. Look at that. It's just so, yeah, it's, um, shop's cost an absolute fortune and I want it to look right, so I'm going to crack on here and get this done.